Hey guys, it's Lori and Charlie with Mixed Mornings, and we got out of the studio. Yes, field trip. Field trip. <laughs> and we're making soap today. Today, we stopped by uh, the Sunset Art Galleries here at the Soapbox, and we're hanging out with Mandy. Now, Mandy, oh my, I know there's gotta be a ton of things that go into making soap, and just looking at this, I'm like, it's not easy. <laughs> No, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it and get comfortable. It's a lot like cooking, so a lot can go wrong, but a lot, you know, once you get used to it, it gets pretty easy to do. Today we're gonna make um, one of my, one of my very favorites actually. It's a, a lemongrass soap. Yeah, so it smells delicious. This is gonna be one of my spring and summer soaps. I'll let you smell the essential oil. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell good. <laughs> well, I guess let's let's okay. start and see how this process works. Great. So I've done a little bit of prep work for you just so um, it speed the process along. Um, in this bucket, I have some of my oils, um, which is my base for the soap. And then um, I'm gonna actually pour this last oil in um, and measure it out so you can kind of see the idea of how you measure. The hard oils I have already pre-measured um, and I have, um, I've heated them up so that they're melted and and gonna be at a good temperature for making soap. You wanna soap around about 100 degrees. Some people um, let it cool down to room temperature and I do a little bit of both. It kind of depends on what bar of soap I am making. Um, so my oils are pre-measured here except for this last oil. This last oil that I'm adding in is avocado oil and um, yes, it's, it's wonderful. So um, I've got my bowl, my bowl here and I am going to add in uh, 241 grams of avocado. Uh, so now that this is measured out, I will now mix in my lye solution. Uh, you measure out your lye. Um, this is one of my containers of lye. And actually when you um, are working with lye, you want to wear gloves because it can really hurt you and uh, you know burn your skin. So I'll show you real fast what the lye looks like. I think the uh, one thing I think about when I hear lye and soap is that scene in Fight Club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, these are just little granules of lye, and then um, you want to always one of the biggest. Um, I guess most important things to do, know when you're making soap is you don't ever want to add water to lye. You want to add lye to water. Okay. And so the way I remember that is a little memory peg. Um, L comes before W in the alphabet, so you know you want to add the lye to the water. And because it can actually cause it to explode and it would be bad if you do it the other way. Uh, in this recipe, I, I've got my lemongrass essential oil and I'm going to put in a 30 grams you can already start <laughs> so I've got that here so um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually mix my lye into my oils um, and what's going to happen is it's going to uh, start its process once I have it added, I'm going to do my additives of the um, essential oils and then very last what I'll do is pour it into the mold and then um, decorate the top for you. So uh, what this process, it's going to get a little loud so I'll go ahead and tell you beforehand. But um, I'm going to use the mixer. You can actually do it by hand but you'll be standing there a lot longer. Um, and then uh, you just want to mix it up until it starts to get almost to like a thick pudding. So the lye starts heating up the, the oil and uh, it starts going through its little process and this is called saponification when it does that. And basically the easiest way to explain it is it's basically cooking the soap and that's heating it up so that it, it does its thing. So you don't want anything to splash up in your eyes because that could be really bad. Okay, now it's kind of more at a 
a, a thick pudding uh, consistency. So we're okay, so now I'm gonna take this over here and I'm gonna pour it into this mold. This is a wooden mold that has a liner in it and the liner is just going to allow it to um, release from the mold. And then obviously you wanna scrape your bucket as much as you can to get as much out as you can because that's all soap in there. And for me, that's money. <laughs> so you don't wanna waste any of that. So right now I'm just going to kind of smooth this out and kind of, uh, basically I'm leveling it so that when I decorate it, the, the soap is gonna be pretty much even uh, all the way across. When, I, um, when I'm gonna start decorating, this is like one of my favorite parts to do, and um, that's where my artistic touch can come out. Um, and that's one thing that everybody I talk to, they just love about my soaps, is the way that they look. Not only the fact that they're, they're really great for your skin, but um, this is kind of where I get to play and be artistic and, and do what, um, you know, whatever I feel like doing that day. <laughs> so next what I'm gonna do is I will cover this up um, because it's going to go through it's the heating process to actually uh, go through the saponification that it needs to go through to create the soap and then um, I'll come back and unmold it uh, probably tomorrow and then I'll be ready to cut it and then put it on the curing racks so this is how you make soap, and you can find my products at the Object Gallery here at Sunset Center, or I have a Facebook presence, it's The Soapbox Amarillo, Texas. Um, and I also have a website, so you can find all of my products there to purchase in town. Um, and then in the summer months, like I said, I'm at the Amarillo Community Market as well as the Canyon Farmers Market. Well, Mandy, once that's cured, I want to see on your Facebook, hey, this is the soap we made. Yeah. It's 94.1. Absolutely. We'll do it. I'll even get you guys a bar. Oh, that? awesome. Yes. <laughs> smelling like lemon in the studio. There you go. It smells so nice. <laughs>